Hi, welcome back to SAP Business Object Processing Framework series. So, in the last session, we see we saw how we can implement the action validation. So, what are the logic or how we can get the instance data and how we can validate that and how we can write some message from the implementation class. So, now we're going to test the validation. So before we go into the test transaction code, business object test transaction code. So we want to make sure that now your validation has been assigned to the corresponding action. So when we model the validation, so we said that the check delivered status. Okay. And so we have a tab called trigger action. When you select the trigger action and we expand that, you know, which is the action you know when you execute that uh, when you call the action on the ui now which action when you call it this validation has to be called so i say it's check delivered so whenever there is a whenever we try to change the status to delivered set status delivered this action has to be called and so this validation has to be called when we execute this action on the ui this will be called so when you press save Okay, and do the check and correct. So I went for the generation directly. So hoping that not to have it. Okay, yeah. So it's everything is perfect. Do the check one more time to ensure that there is no inconsistent in the business object. Yeah, business object is consistent and we generation is done. So let's go back to our business object test code so either you can use this option or open the bobt transaction so i'll go with this option test okay so load your instance select all so all the instance will be loaded so we implemented a logic whether the status in C is confirmed status, we want the action to be allowed. If it is other than C, we don't want to execute. So let's execute. Let's try to execute action on this node level. So I selected this instance, edit the instance. Successfully locked object cannot be since it's been locked by somebody else. Okay. I'll just ignore that. Then I'll go for this one and yes object has been locked let's try to execute the set status delivered so when we try to execute this see object status should be in confirm so we are getting that message you can see action fail key has been returned also it's rising this message so this is a way you know you can implement the action validation for the business object and write the logic in the validation class and then you can test this you now validation via the test t code so if you want to check that how you no know, this error message has been raised so you can go here okay so there is a debugging option when you use the drop down option open an implementation or set an external breakpoint i'll say set external breakpoint so it will call as a dialogue it will call a dialogue about with some details so you see on the bo name and the node and then there are some you know actions and the determinations are available so i want to set the breakpoint on my validation i, I couldn't see that validation here let me close this open implementation why my validation is not available so my admin data determination is available actions are available but my validations are not available here let me close it i'll go out and come back okay let me open my BOA again and open my class. I'll put a breakpoint here. So 
in the BOBT transaction, you can able to set the breakpoint directly. Otherwise, you can use this the normal procedures where you want to open the code and set the external breakpoint, and then you can start executing that business object in the test T code. So I'll select this third instance, edit, set delivered. So our determination has been called, our validation is called. You can see the class name here in the top and execution part. Okay, let's press, let's see what is coming here. So you see here, okay. This one is our you know, node key. And when I open this context, here there are some informations that are available. So if you want to verify that, okay, what it is this and all the stuff. So you can just select this, copy this, okay, go back to your another session. Um Okay, let me open here the uh, export T code, business object build T code, second session. Okay. Use the control F function, find. Okay, you can see here, you can enter the key. So in the debugger, I copied the key of my business object. This is a business object key. So I copied the key of business object I put the key here, okay, and so you see that it's opening my business object. So this is where, this is a way you can easily compare it. Otherwise, you can go here, your constants interface. Same way you can do for the, your root node key and node key and valuation key, all that is possible. So I let me, let me check here, okay. So let's open this here, action. So open in the uh, no, source code editor format. Let's come back to our root node key. So let's take the root node key. We know in uh, in our business object, the root node of my business object is order node. I'll come back here, use control F, put it, find. You see here, under your SC node as a constant structure, here you have a root node. This is what it is finding. Similarly, if you go here, I want to find the action. So control C and you can remove it. Let me find. Let me, pull, let me start from the top. And next. Okay. Am I missing something? Okay. Control C. Yes, you can see the corresponding action is called. The same way you can also find your validation where that is model. So you come back here, I'll come back here, I'll take the valuation key. The same, you can also use the interface to do that, but it's also possible. If you put it here, so it's show me exactly where this validation has been modeled. So this is a way you can identify the relationship, you know, how this IS context key is working with your interface information to compare the value information. So thank you.